What's the day's date? October 6, 2023. And what's going to happen next? They're going to do their friendly handshake they made up. All right, go ahead. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh oh, is that That's it? Handshake, yeah. Okay, all right. What's your What's your name on the top there? Kaylin. Kayla, how old are you? Uh, ten. And where are you from? Uh, Anderson, South Carolina. I bet that on the bottom. Kaylee. All right, how old are you? Twelve. And where are you from? Anderson, South Carolina. And what football college football team you uh, pull for? Clemson. Shh. Get us killed, down here. We down in Charleston. Don't get us killed. Tell them, remember? Right, goodbye. Let's go to oh, look at that. Oh yeah, do that again. Oh yeah, that, that's the number one fan right Woo there. She's the number one. Go Tigers! Are right, y'all ready to go? We're headed to Charleston. Yep. Wait a minute. Look at them pants. Boy, about years ago, people laughed at you. I ain't lying. I'd, I'd walk up to you and got the friends on you. <laughs> Late girl, let me go get you some new shorts. <laughs> uh, what they cost now? About a hundred dollars. The jeans cost Oh, okay. All right. Well, yeah. Let's see now. Oh, you ain't got them big shoes on? Not today. Huh? Yeah, hey, guys. Oh, and they got a dang ring put through their nose. Doggone it. I didn't want them doing it, but they did it. Let's, let me get it up close. Yep, they got it put in their nose. All right. Here they are again. Let's see. Now, what's your first and last name? Oh, your first name? Kaylee. Okay. How you spell it? Because I bet, I bet you spell it all kind of ways. K-A-Y-L-E-Y. I'll spell it another way. K-A-Y-L-E-I-G-H. Oh, one more. K-A-Y-L-E-E. All right, then what's your first name? Kaylin. Spell it three times. All right, then. First time. K-A-I-L-Y-N. Second time. K-A-Y-L-I-N. And then K-E-I-N. Y -L -Y -L -Y -L -Y -L. Or, or you can go uh, C A Y L Y N. Yes, -Y -L -Y -L. That's why I didn't want Amy uh, and your mom naming y'all all the names to see all your lives. Y'all gotta tell everybody when you go up to the case. I mean, when you like fill out papers. How you spell your name? How you spell your name? Oh, uh, how you spell your name there? And then you all your life. <laughs> My name is this. Huh? You just get aggravated. My name is this. Yeah. All right, let me get back and get your shorts. Let's see. I know that's why you bought them. Okay, all right, that's your shorts. That's your shoes. That, that's KK's. All right, tell about where we at. Zach's business in Charleston. Uh, all right, it's, 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 it's not Charleston, you may tell you what this, this is called? North Charleston. It's Northern Charleston. No, it's called North Charleston. That's the town. Mm hmm. Uh, a lot of people don't know that, but right now we're in North Charleston. Uh, and, we'll, and we'll soon be, we'll soon be in Charleston. Can we do a fit check real quick? Huh? Can we tell you where our outfit's from? It's yeah. A fit check. Okay. So my shoes are from Google. Uh, my, my pants are from Sheen. Uh-huh. And my shirt is from my mama, because it's a, a motorcycle shirt. Oh, and where's yours from? Uh, th these are from Timu. These are from Timu, and this is from uh, Simply Southern, and then hair clips from Timu. Yeah. You know, a lady asked me the other day, she said, she looked at me, she said, look, look now, listen. So lady said, where are you from? I said, I'm from my mama. <laughs> That's what I told her. That's what I told her. God from my mama. Everybody's from the mama. What y'all get to eat? What you got? I don't know what I ordered. You don't know what you ordered? How about you? I got the um, Southwest salad. Oh, that's, that's good for you. Yeah. Keep the weight off of you. What'd you get there? Chicken nibblers without Zach sauce or barbecue mm. instead. Hey. You got two K, KK? KK? Just don't put another K with it because everybody won't like it. <laughs> what would you do if somebody walked up to you and forgot you? Hey, KK, KK? That was four times with it. Hey, KK, KK? <laughs> hey, 
They will. What? So this is what happened, Papa Jimmy. Okay. So we had this book that was like it, three ways to ex, uh, to escape to freedom. And I told this kid that he needed to read it. And he was a Mexican. Well, once he learns it, he'll get it, yeah. But uh, y'all remember Stonewall Jackson? You remember him, Robert E. Lee? Who's that? That's what I'm getting ready to ask you. I mean, I was Stonewall Jackson, Robert E. Lee. That's two of the famous people that fought for the Southern people. All right? They fought for white and black folks, whatever was in their area in the South. He listed money. Yeah. All right. Now, guess what they're trying to do? They're trying to take all their monuments down in their honor. That's wrong. That's wrong. Trying to take down. See, they fought for us. They fought for all people, black and white, brown, whatever, yellow, pink, purple. And then, man, if, it, if Stonewall Jackson could come back alive today, or Robert E. Lee, you you wouldn't believe what they'd have to say. But anyway, I don't get on politics. How you doing? We down here. Hey, wh hey, wait a minute. I don't think she knows, y'all. What what town we in? Uh huh. Starts with an N and with an H. We're in Columbia. Huh? We're in no, Columbia. No, we in Charles. Charles, but we. I mean Charles. This might help. Yeah. This might help. Look, we're in Charleston. This might help. We're in Charleston, South We're in North Charleston, which is the city. That's what I said. We're in North Charleston. Ah, we ain't got Charleston yet. You said we're in Charleston. It's two different cities. That's hard to believe, but it is. Everybody knows it's It's about like Homeland Park to Anderson, you know, Gluck Mill to Anderson. So they we all, ain't in Charleston yet. No, nah, we're in North. About a mile down the road, we'll be in Charleston. So it's, it's just like North Greenville, you oh, know. Beaches. North Anderson, North Greenville. Oh, there's an airplane again. I know. I'm getting it. Where's it at? There it goes. Missed it. That was on it. You get it? Did you get it? Let's see. Look at that, she got it, Linda. Look, look, clouds and all. Oh, good, you got it. Oh, she's quick. And it's live. Oh, good, it's live too. Oh, see? Look at that. You got it going, yeah, uh huh. That's quick. Send me that. I'll see you on the picture. This, please. Now, tonight I'll have you on uh, YouTube. I'm to some, what kind of music do you want me to put behind it? It don't matter. Kid G. Kid G, Kid G. all right. I try to. Daylight Savings Time. Huh? Daylight Savings Time. Some sites might not let you do it because it's. It's got a sign. Look, it's daylight savings. Huh? It's my hospital bracelet when I was younger. Oh, that's it? Yeah, that's it. I well, found it. Don't lose it. I right, well, now, I told you what to go on. Go, go to YouTube. Enter. Hey, go to YouTube right now. Do it now. Enter. Kaylin, Kaylin Sewell. We do, that all, we do that all the time. Yeah, we do it all the time. It would be Kaylin Sewell born. Wait, I got Kaylin Sewell what? Kay born. Bird, a born, bird. That's they, about six six videos. Your daddy's holding you. Uh, they're cleaning you up. We all stand behind the window, all of a bunch of us. You remember that? I won't ever forget that night. And look at that. That's she is. Look, look at that. Won't be long she get both of them be grown. Both of them be I'll grown. be older first. I'm two years older than you. Yep. You're a year and eight months. One year and eight months. She's ten, Jeremy. I'm twenty. But you're a year and eight you know months. You know what? Hey. Uh, she got them, uh, what do you call them eyes? Brazilian eyes. And I got hazel. Them pretty Brazilian women. Look at them eyes. Their eyes are real dark. Eyebrows. What color is your eyes are? Like? They're they're blue and if I'm really really mad they'll turn green. <laughs> oh, like hers. Hers turn red. She's over got here. my eyes. Her mama. 
I have mine and, uh, I, I, can't find the video. I have, I have greens, guys. Okay, all right, we're down here in Zach to get ready to eat. Hey, Mama. Hey, Melinda. <laughs> hey, hey, that's, that's the front of Can you tell, can you tell these people on here how me and her met? Okay, so it all started at this club thing. It, it was called the Portman Lounge. The Portman Lounge. And Papa Jimmy was singing, which is here, singing. I took a break. Yeah, and he took a break. And he had, like, three girls beside no, him. No, that was late. Lap. He had hoes. No, that was the next week. Oh, the next In week. Uh, the first time I met her, yeah. I went walking up the aisle. Yeah. Give, give me something to drink. There she's sitting in the booth like this. Yeah, and then now, she was with uh, her mama, which is Nanny. Nanny. Right. Nanny. Now, what did I say to And you? they, uh, Papa Jimmy called him King Rooster Head. I, I said, no, here's what I said. Here's how I did it. I said, what we got here? Two King Rooster Heads. Now, you know what Becky said to me? She looked at her. She said, what the hell he just called us? I thought she was going to get up and fight me, Becky. <laughs> and, and Melinda said, Mama, he's just kidding. I said, no, I ain't y'all. I said, get look like King Rooster Head with your hair now. <laughs> <laughs> and, here, and here we are. Here we are. Oh, wait, now the next week, the next week she came down to tell that story. I was, okay. on, I was on the stage with what? Uh, you were on stage with the band. Three, uh, wait, you took a break. Mm -hmm. and you I was were, on the band yeah, stage. on the band stage with three other girls. They were sitting in my lap. Yeah. And what and happened then, next? And then Dreamy came over and said, <laughs> and said that's where my boyfriend got off him. No, she said, y'all got to go. Well, y'all got to go. Oh, yeah. She pointed at them. They left. I said, well, you come on in, baby. Sit on my lap. And she did. She's been sitting in my lap 33 years. <laughs> what do you want to sit on? She's still pretty, ain't she, y'all? Yeah. Look up and let everybody see you. Come on. What you reading? Yeah. Uh, order yeah. Order she, she's still. Uh, she's in her 50s, but she don't look it. There's a guy the other day. Hey, listen, no, listen, 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 listen. You don't know what I'm getting to. There's a guy the other day. He says, is it, he said, is that your daughter, Jimmy? Now, how did you, that made me feel bad. Huh? Come on up, she was my daughter. Yeah, I said, no, she's my wife. All right, we're done here at North Charleston. And uh, y'all getting ready to go to the beach. Yeah. Hey, yeah, uh, don't go out too far now. The sharks are down there. Sharks? Yeah. Yep, yeah, don't go uh, way out too far. Getting ready to eat your food now. Hey, Kayla, what you got? Ooh, look at that. Um, The Southwest Salad. It's called what? Uh, The Southwest West oh. Salad. Hey, yeah. next time we go get one, I'll eat on the bed, though. You want to eat that like the dressing? You eat the other thing. That's what I'd like to have right now. You want your tomatoes, too? No. Yeah, I want my sandwich, please. What'd you get? I got three chicken nibblers with barbecue sauce instead of Zach sauce. Oh, is that what you normally get? And fries. And okay. sauce. Well, eat it up. Oh, you stealing tomatoes off her plate? Yeah, she gonna eat them. You gonna eat them? <laughs> oh, you don't eat tomatoes? No. All right, let's eat up. Try this. Th th uh, bow your head. Thank you, Lord, for the food we're about to receive. God bless you. Amen. Uh oh, they ain't looking well as noon. Y'all, y'all tell me what these trees are down here in the Folly Beach. Come back and let me know. They're not weeping willows. I, I know the name, but I just couldn't call it. Charleston is full of them. We're right here at Folly Beach, y'all. Well, you know, we're here at Folly Beach. And there goes the girls. There they go, Folly Beach. I ain't been to the beach in about six years. There's somebody out there having fun. Folly Beach. Used to come down and play music and private parties and stuff. And I used to play in bands a lot. Lord, yeah. We go to like buildings, boy, you wouldn't believe the people there. And they tipped you too. We had about three tip jars out there. 
we made about 150 Back then that was real good money per person. Then we make like another hundred dollars tips a piece. So we did pretty good. And you had to know a lot of beat songs, we did. Double shot of my baby's love. Oh look at that, my grandbabies. Look at that. Ooh, it's hot out here. Look at that, that's surfing. Oh, he fell. Boy, oh, it's pretty, pretty out here. Beautiful day. Here comes a surfer. Y'all go on out to go on out there. And I'm videoing her. That's Melinda. Been together 33 long years, good years. Move the camera down, that's yes. That's my pretty wife. She's always been pretty from since the day she was born. I don't see what she's seen in me, but she stayed with me 33 years. She seems to be happy, but she's she's been a little sick for about what 15 years. Yeah. Yeah, she's been sick. She, she's doing okay. Y'all keep praying for her. All right, that's the two little grandbabies out there. That's Kaylin and KK. They couldn't wait to get down here to follow the beach this weekend. We brought them down here. Pretty out here. The water looks cool, ain't it? Yeah. Huh? Okay. That is. You done got wrong a little bit. Look at her. Got a baby. Baby suit on. Huh? It's a little cool out here, ain't it? Don't go out. Uh, need to get her on back in here. You have to watch them baby, have to watch them baby sharks, them little baby sharks. They'll nibble at your feet. You have to be careful with them. If you feel something like biting at you, go. Come this way if you, you know, run. So stay in here. <laughs> you know, I used to come there all the time when I was a young boy. You hear me? Yeah. When I got on up about, I guess, 27, 28, if we come to him, people would be sitting around and me and be talking to me. Mm -hmm. I said, why come you, you ain't going in there, sir? He said, I ain't going in that set of thing. Oh and I got to thinking about it right now. Right now. Well, that's the money, ain't it? So I'm going to throw some money out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, this is their this is their home. No boy. Oh yeah, they got to poop somewhere. They got I know. they got to take a little pee. Y'all went out with all that. Fish That's why piss. I guess it's so salty. Y'all went out with all that fish piss. Uh uh, don't say that. No, don't say that, yet, young'un. She might <laughs> not come back no more for us to lie. 
Oh, well, she gets gone, let her figure it out herself. <laughs> I love the beef. I always come on back down here to get about 25. <laughs> if, if, you was, hey, if you was to tell her right now, you know where the uh, whales and all the fish, shark, poo poo at? Oh, she probably jumped up out of it. What are you doing? Okay. I got you. I'm getting you. You gotta have her phone. Where's her phone at? In my back pocket. Well, don't drop it now. Hey, do not drop it. Do not drop your phone. Please don't drop it. Yeah. You're just standing there. Well, you can't oh, don't let it there. fall in the water. Oh, get, hey, don't let the water uh -uh. get from your hands on it. Oh, let you me see. There she goes. Look at yeah, it. She's growing. Dude, five years from now, you won't know her. Could be a pretty like Amy. That's, that's KK. Boy, she likes that there, don't she? Yeah, huh? Pretty idea. I like to come here at night and about around, take my guitar and some lot of song with the waves. You have the waves in the background? Oh, I could write a beautiful one. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody here. Just let the waves go. Set me a chair up right here. Give me my guitar. Spanish guitar. And I'll, I'll write probably five good ocean sea songs. Sends my eyes for some type video of me, Mr. Huh? I'm unavailable for video capture right now at this time. Oh, really? Oh, you are? I'm unavailable. Oh, you're unavailable. Well, that's hard to believe. You know what? If you took up on the ship right now and went that way, not 200, not 300, but 3,000 miles across. <laughs> Swear to God, when you come out to London, England. They're amazing. See, my, my ancestors, Peter and John, they came over here. You didn't get to go back because it cost you so much. So then when they waved by to all those people, they didn't see them no more. They landed up here in Virginia. They landed in Virginia, the gift shop, on, the, yeah. on that ship. When they got off, they went seeking for work, and the rest is history. Gill stripes all over South Carolina, North Carolina, Texas, and they all come from two men. I did too. Uh, Peter and John, I come from Peter's side. My daddy always told me, he said, he said, boy, he said, all the gill stripes are related. I said, how you know that? He, said, he told me that story. You know, and it's in the book. And, uh, he says, boy, if a gill strap ever tells you he's not kin to you or something, he just don't like you. <laughs> he would tell me that. Yep. And I know a lot of gill strap when I go up to Liberty and Pickens, because I was raised in Anderson. Uh, my grandmother, she left up there uh, back at 29. That's a long story to it. But uh, my daddy never did see his daddy. I mean, I hate to go into it because it's sad a little bit, but my granddaddy, Roy Boat, B-O-L-T, Gillstrap. You can go to findagrave.com, and it tells you all about the Gillstrap. Uh, even you, if you got people buried, just go and enter their name. What cemetery, I guarantee you, it's one of the best sites on the internet for finding your ancestors. But... But my daddy never, he never saw his daddy because he was pregnant. I mean, uh, his mom, mom was pregnant with him. He was six, she was six months alone. His daddy went out one day to go fishing on the fishing bank in Liberty. He was sitting there fishing and this man came up and stabbed him in the back. Mistook him for another man. He thought it was the guy he was wanting to kill 
but it was it was my granddaddy's wrong man. So they put him, they put the guy locked him up in jail. And my grandmother, uh, she had uh, two boys, my uncles, and and the daughter, Eleanor. Of course, they all dead. She grabbed them up and moved to Anderson because she was getting threats. People were throwing stuff in the yard. You been not press charges on? Her. Well, yeah, he, he killed he killed her husband, my granddaddy. But his name you can go on like I say again. Uh, it's called Find the Grave. Dot com. When you go on it, uh, just hit memorial and then enter your loved one's name if they dead. You can find them. They're great, great, great grandparents. And, but mine is Roy. I mean, excuse me, is uh, yeah, Roy Boat Gilstrap. That was my granddaddy. And like I say, my daddy, he was born uh, six months later in Anderson. And uh, he, he never, he never didn't know her daddy. I didn't know my granddaddy. <laughs> That's sad, you know. People back in the old days, boy, that was mean. They cut you, stab you. They didn't care. But uh, I finally asked my grandmother, "What time did he get?" And they only gave him, uh, I think, 12 years. He got out in 12 years. Lord, Lord, Lord. Anyway, what is pretty out here? It's beautiful. I hate to get back to that find the grave, but a lady about three months ago, uh, I, I've seen her up at Walmart talking to her. She said, don't you know how to find ancestral people on, on the web page? Somebody told me you could. I said, yeah, it's called find the grave. Man, it's stars, movie stars, singers. It says, it says, uh, famous. Hit, click on that if you want to find somebody dead that's famous. And when you click on it, it's got their mama, their great great mama, and all that. It goes back to their pictures. I wish you could see Elvis. Go it and, and enter Elvis Presley and click on to his mama. She was a Smith. And it's got pictures of her great great. Grandmama, it goes way back to the eight, early 1800s, and I don't—I didn't think they had dang cameras back in the early 1800s. I always thought the camera uh, didn't get started around 1850. But anyway, check it out. I guarantee you'll enjoy it. The center, you like I say once again, whoever you're looking for, it's dead, and you will find out who their daddy, who their daddy, who their daddy, who you know, you find it. Now, you know, it's best to become a member. That way, you can type in whatever you want at the memorial of your loved one. Just become a member, it's free. All right, that's my little pretty lady. Where's the camera at? Is the same clothes there? Yeah. I'll make sure. you pretty on the beach. Wait a minute. Oh, oh that'd be a good title. Ooh, she's pretty on the beach. Hey, look at that little, little bird down there, look. See, they don't got used to people, look. Look at it. Out looking for something deep. That comes one! I thought it was one. That's that's hard to believe. If he was to take off that way, go east, over that water, around 3,000 miles, guess where you'd come out at? And, and it's true, right here where we at, the Folly Beach, Charleston area, right below London, England. Isn't that amazing? I guess that's the trip my ancestors took. They were from London, England. Uh, I think Peter was from a, a little town called Middlesex, M I D D L E S E X. And I think um, um, 
And John, I think, ooh, Lord, I want to make sure that one's a good soap. I think John, his brother, was from a little town called um, Pina, England, P-I-N-N-E-R, which is right there around, you know, London. But just about everybody in the United States come from England, Germany, Scotland, Ireland, you know. There weren't many that came from uh, Australia, but most of our people that, that lives here come from that area. That's where your ancestors are buried at. I, I'm into ancestry, you know, I don't know if y'all, but I met a guy about 10 years ago up near Table Rock. I was up there at the cemetery videoing some of my ancestors that were stewards and prices, the prices and stewards. They were kind of known out there in the area. T.R. Price, uh, I think I think he was a mayor. He would be my, about my fourth great granddaddy. But uh, they, they say he was a real smart man to love helping people. And uh, when you go up through uh, 178, like you're going to Roslyn, <laughs> My dad always, we'd go up through there on Sunday sometime in the car, and that was the curviest road I've seen in my life. And my daddy, he said, you know who uh, engineered this road, don't you? I said, who? He said, my great-great-granddaddy, T.R. Price. And that's what I told him. Mama, I had Mama, I'd come out of the car, I said, well, he must have been drunk as hell. Excuse my language, that's what I said. Because it is curvy up there. And sure enough, I went online and found out that he did, he did the engineer on it. Well, back then, man, they didn't have much to work with, you know. They didn't have the technology and stuff they had today. So he didn't know where he was going. And he wasn't nothing but a mountain. He was digging his way up to Roslyn, and that's the way he dug. Just imagine going from picking stuff right there up on a bunch of trees. All you see is trees and hills. We need to thank all our ancestors and people in the past that built all our roads for us. They're dead and gone now. We need to always thank them for that. Every road you go down, somebody had to do it in the 1700s the hard way digging it. Of course, man, you know, later they came along and they put gravel down and then they paved it. Oh, look at that boy, he's getting right down there. Here and cake there. Uh oh, that comes a big one. Woo, that's a big one. Oh, it's 11. Oh, uh, we're all gone. It's 11 and out. Man, I hate to be in that hand when a storm came along. Gosh. Woo. I'm surprised these houses right here. I'm going to show you. Bali Beach is one of the coolest places there is as far as living. But then people right there live right under in them houses. Especially that house right under, with the two-story right under. All it takes is one good storm and it, it wash it away. But thank God it had nothing happened to here in a long time. I don't think there is. They're all still standing, unless they've been knocked down and rebuilt. That's about probably what it is. Yep, I could be wrong. It could be new houses there. Y'all get a chance go on Google and. See if they've had any bad storms that knocked the houses down there. It could probably be F O L L E Y. How do you spell Folly? F O L L E Y. F O L L E Y. Folly Beach. Go. Folly Beach. All right, that, there she is. Got a little bikini. How come you didn't get them to match? How come you didn't make them red, red, or blue, blue? I don't know. I just made huh? them Huh? It looked better if you did it that way. That's all right. When you like being here back in the 1700s when the big Mayflower ship boat came in, it was packed, boy. 
Uh, would you like to be here? I like being staying here waiting on them. Yeah, I did a little. I like dibbling my ancestry. I know you probably do too, and you might not. But uh, I didn't start doing that until about 10 years ago. I don't know why I wanted to get into it, but, but now it's so interesting to me. Uh, my aunt, her daddy one that got stabbed in the back, Eleanor Ackerman, of course she died, she was 92. That's my daddy's only sister. She would tell me all kind oh look coming there. Boy, she's doing good, that lady there. Look at that. I'm telling you, look at this. That's good. Yeah. Anyway, um you play. Go ahead. Yeah, my grandbaby. That's KK. That's my daughter's girl, Carrie. My daughter, Carrie. Looks look just like though, Melinda, her grandmama, in the face, eyes and all. Of course, she does take very Carrie little. But all of them. Uh, all the grandkids, they, they got Melinda's eyes, boy, them beautiful. Sorry, eyes. Yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I forgot what I was talking about a while ago. Um, I was online uh, on ancestry.com and that find the grave. I love find the grave better than I do a anything on there. Checking out my relatives, people you know. You never seen of people that passed away. I've been a member of Find the Grave probably about 15 years, maybe longer. Every night when I come in from work, you know, selling carports, I'd go in there and get my laptop up, and boy, I couldn't wait to go find the grave and add names of people that died that I know that wasn't in there. But now. Back then, it wasn't that popular, you know, you, you, you couldn't see none of your relatives. But once again, uh, I'll tell you again, but uh, if you want to know where your granddaddy, great, great, great grandmama, great, great, great granddaddy, best thing to do, if your daddy is dead or his daddy is dead, you need to go on, find the grave and enter their name, try to get the cemetery and everything punched in, and then when it pops up, you ain't gonna believe what you're gonna see. You're gonna see his daddy, his mom, mama, and then their daddy, mama, and then their daddy, mama. About four generations that goes back, and about every one of them got pictures of them that you've never seen. How'd you like that? Huh? When it's time we come now, we're gonna bring some chairs. And uh oh, she's taking off leading you again. Go get her. Hey, see, see, you see what them women do while I go? Uh -huh. On the ski board? Uh -huh. We're gonna bring one next time we come. Right here, look, watch, watch, watch. That is unbelievable. I used to do it when I come down here, but I, I couldn't stay up long. I'd fall within 10 seconds. My balance ain't that good. But she came down here a while ago, she did good. She got almost out there and she failed. But she's with somebody else, I can't see. I don't know what she's at. The other woman? Yes, she's over there. Way out there? No, right there, right here. Oh, right there, okay, good. Okay, what y'all gonna do? Y'all gonna go back out there some more? We're gonna watch the sunset. Okay. They wanna watch the sunset. It was fun. I know it. I, I, know was, it. I was singing the whole time. Okay, once again, let me get your eyes my eyes bright. Hold on. I've been bragging on your grandmama's eyes. Let's see that. Wait a minute. 
Oh, see look, look in the camera. Okay, now. Alright, hold on a minute, Kim. Alright, now this is where you get your eyes from. Pull it back. Pull it back. Right there. And your nose. Mama, here. Now, I don't know where you get your temper from now. Mama. Oh, your mama? Uh oh. Alright, let me let me check this in here's eyes. Hey, you need to put that stuff over out the way, y'all. Oh yeah. You don't need to do that. Yeah. What? Uh, you don't need to have it spread it out. You, you wanna get it up close because some people oh. see your face. Oh. That's right when you're smiling at people. Another one like this? Okay. Alright. Alright, just me, just me. Alright, let me get uh, the uh, Come on, y'all. Alright. Get a little darker. Hey, Lynn. Yeah, okay, okay. Y'all having a good time? Oh, we're good. Three, two, one. Bomb. Alright. Bomb. Alright. She dropped her gum. What you looking at? Why'd you drop your gun? Must be some bo uh, old boys. I see why she dropped the gun. Girls! Where are you going? I don't know. KK! Kaylin! Where are you going? Oh, they're trying to get the sun in the background. Down here at Folly Beach, South Carolina. It's probably about a three hour drive, I guess, from Anderson down here. I think that's about what we did it in, maybe a little longer. I think it's 225 miles from Anderson down here. We, like I say, we're at Folly Beach, which is right below Charleston. I used to come there all the time. And we, back when I was young, me and different guys, we didn't hardly go to Myrtle Beach. We liked down in here, had more fun when it's packed. And once again, I used to play uh, in bands down here. They would get jobs and it, most of them were like private parties. But every now and then we get we get out somewhere like this on the, on the deck. And I never did like it because the sound was terrible. Outside, it, you, you, you could cut it out. Well, I started. Carrie. Carrie? I mean, uh, Carrie's daughter, KK. <laughs> I'm just starbound by that ocean. Look at that. That's God, man. That just breaks my heart. Look at it. It's hard, it's hard to believe that one man made all this, made the mountains, moon, star. You, let me tell you the most fascinating thing that I believe God ever made. What do you think it is? A baby? And it, well, that's one of them. That's not, it, and it's 93 million miles from here. That's not like the mountains. Right on. There ain't no way, no man can make it and carry it uh, 93 million miles from here. Scientists have proven that if it was 50 miles closer to us, it, it'd cook us. Go ahead. I don't hear you saying. Uh, KK gonna, make, gonna sing. She's gonna make fun of me, so. Uh -uh. No, come on, look. She's gonna sing. Come on. Sing. Right, go ahead. I'm scared. Go ahead, no. I'm scared. Everybody's you watching. Be Everybody's watching now. Do it. well, it's, it's a Christian song. Sing it. So I, I like walking when I'm I'd rather hear a Christian song than an indie song. Right. So, Christ is my firm foundation. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The rock on which I stand when everything around me is mm -hmm. shaking. Yeah, keep on. I've never been more glad. I put my faith in Jesus. Cause he's never left me down. He's faithful through ten
That, who had that out? Who who did that? The, um, the singers. I don't that's, know. Right, pretty. I don't know the song. Okay, you, I guess I you know. learned you learned that in church, didn't you? Yes. Okay, y'all ready to go down with the grandmama? She's waiting on y'all. I don't think she feels good, y'all. Hey, look, y'all. Well, look at that cow. Look at that. That's pretty. Uh, KK. Do y'all ever play baseball, softball, anything like that? We're going to. You going to? In February. Yeah, that's good exercise. 